machine a bit. But I know it was uh, something I have resisted for a very long time, despite the fact that I have heard how beneficial that is and that it's very good to meditate, that it gives you more energy and satisfaction and that you are calmer and uh, etc. For the way I was uh, conditioned is that uh, action is uh, the king and uh, the more active you are, more success you will achieve, you will be productive and it's all in doing. So it was a long journey to undo the learned and to realize that power is in the moment when I'm really connected with myself, with uh, God, with my inspiration, with my creativity, with my vulnerability, that that's a place that unleashes true human potential and that we can access that place when we are in a mode of non-resistance, when we are relaxed, when we are not into fight or flight mode that our daily lives condition us to be most of the time. So that's also when we are in this fight or flight mode, all our cells are in the state of protection and not in their optimal state of growth. So it means we are not mentally at our peak, we are physically at the def in a defensive mode and we cannot really use our energy for the best creative, to find the best creative solution. So it was a hard uh, learning process, but uh, today I have no doubt that meditation, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever time you allocate to it, is super beneficial. And without the uh, high science behind it, just a simple fact that you will consider yourself worthy of dedicating that small amount of your daily time just to you and only you and not to any really action but to honor yourself and just to observe your breathing which is a fundamental thing that enables you to be alive it's worthy in itself and it will liberate you because with this little appreciation that you will show to yourself it will have an amazing ripple effect in the way the other will start to give you more appreciation as well. So whatever feels comfortable to you, whether it's floor or chair, sit with your legs on the floor or cross leg position, do the way you can spend that time in the most comfortable way, but still up, upright with your upper body, meaning not sleeping, not lying down because that's also kind of meditation that it's dozing off and it's unconscious meditation. I'm now referring to this conscious meditation. And um, also you can put your hands on your leg or you can put them in this mudra. Those who know much more about meditation say this is a great position for meditating because it enables the smooth energy flow. So let's do it like that. Close your eyes and uh, Focus on your breathing. Let your thoughts come and go. Don't uh, judge them. Don't try to fight them. Don't think that it's the meditation will not work if thoughts are coming to you. They will come, they will go. Maybe some insight, good, beneficial, great one will come. Embrace it. But don't focus on the thoughts. Focus on the breathing. Don't alter your breathing. Don't um, try to breathe in any specific pattern. Just breathe smoothly, naturally, but think of the breathing, don't think of other things. And, um, and relax and honor yourself. 10, 15, 20, 45 minutes, whatever you choose. You deserve it. And this moment of quiet time can energize you and give you so much more stamina and center to deal with the rest of your day. It will also change the vibrational field of your body because your thoughts have a certain vibration and your feelings have even more powerful vibration and they are creating the electric field around you. And this electric field is a magnet for whatever is happening in your life and it's not something uh, of a new age science. It's Albert Einstein who said that if you want to change your, rea your reality you have to change the, your own vibration because there is a certain vibration 
that corresponds to every feeling we can have. Uh, feelings of fear, guilt, shame, hate are very low. And uh, beauty, health, uh, money are high vibrational and they cannot come to people who have low vibrations. So if you want to attract money, it's not running around and uh, working harder and uh, handling three jobs. First of all, you will get inspiration when you when you are connected to yourself, which job to do, when to do, and to really leverage the universe to conspire and help you out with that. But the bottom line, the preconditioning has to come from you, and you get to create the environment, meaning your energy field, which will attract good things to come to you. With this missing ingredient, you have a scissive job all your life in front of you. So break the pattern. Honor yourself and give yourself some exclusive time on a daily basis. Love yourself. I love you too.